Right, this is the book that we're going to be looking at this week. It's called Hummingbird and it's written by Nicola Davies and Jane Ray has done the very beautiful pictures. So it's all about hummingbird. We don't have hummingbirds in the UK, but they have them in America, in the United States, and they fly all the way from North America, Canada, Alaska, all the way down to South America. So it's a very long way. We're gonna learn a little bit about their journey today in this picture book. Okay, so hummingbird. <clears throat> Granny is in her garden with her granddaughter. Keep still, she whispers to the little girl, and they'll come. The child holds her breath, and they do come. Their feathers flash in the slants of light. Their wings beat out their name, flying fast as thought. Tsunan, Tsunan. Tsunan is the name for hummingbirds in several countries in South America. I can't quite get the book in the right place, can I? They'll soon be gone, Granny says, flying north like you. The little girl looks sad. So Granny kisses her and says, maybe they'll visit you in New York City. You can see all the beautiful hummingbirds. There's so many different types of hummingbirds. There's, and we're looking, we're watching, we're following these ones in this book with the little red neck. Later, on the plane, the girl wonders how something lighter than a penny could fly so far. Down on the dark sea, a sailor has company at last. A hummingbird is sleeping in the rigging. At dawn it wakes and flies away, tiny and fearless, heading for the land. Out on the veranda, everything is ready. The nectar feeders are full. Tiny flies buzzing in the bug dispenser. Just after dawn, the hungry guests arrive for breakfast. The sisters laugh as they remember how their daddy used to say, Hummingbirds need meat and potatoes, same as we do. So they like to eat bugs and the nectar for their energy. Spring sweeps up country, flowers open, bee balm and scarlet sage, trumpet honeysuckle and cardinal flower, insects zoom. The hummingbirds ride the green wave, zigzagging from one pool of buzz and blossom to the next. Look at all those beautiful flowers and all those hummingbirds flying. It's called migration, so they're migrating. So they're going from the warm weather in the south and then as it gets warmer up north, they migrate to the north. A young man forgets exams when a hummingbird won't share a flower with a bumblebee. He laughs aloud and texts his mother a photo of the little bird, too angry for its size. There it is. Oh, I'm doing it the wrong way. Oh, I can't quite get this camera right, can I? There we go. No, this way. <laughs> there it is. Can you see? Fighting off the, the bumblebee. The TV's bust. The pizza needs defrosting. But no one in the family cares because hummingbirds are sipping from the feeder they just made out of a plastic cup and filled it with sugar syrup. If you remember, we, we fed our moths the same sort of stuff, a sugar syrup, which is like the same as a, a nectar. It replicates a nectar. Hummingbirds know exactly where they're going and when they get there, they set up home. The male chases other hummingbirds away so that the flowers feed just his family. The female makes a nest with lichen, spider silk and thistle down. It holds her two eggs tight, but stretches as the babies grow and grow and grow. 
got to remember hummingbirds are tiny. They weigh the same as a penny coin. So they're tiny and their eggs are as big as a jelly bean. So they're very, very tiny birds. Late summer and the little girl is walking head down in the park. Oh, there's something in the grass. White. Too small to cap her e even her littlest finger. There's only one thing it could be. What do you think it is? It's white. It's tiny. What do you think it could be? <gasps> could it be a hummingbird egg, do you think? Or an egg shell, hopefully. Hopefully the baby's come out already. Somewhere up amongst the trees and the green, there's been a visitor from Granny's garden. Oh, my finger is in the way, isn't it? Look, can you see the tiny little white thing on the ground? Days are drawing in. Soon the bugs and nectar will be nipped by frost. Hummingbirds must fly south. The journey's long and hard for such small bodies and many of them won't reach their destination. Why is that, do you think? Why won't they reach their destination? It's a very long way to fly. It says, human roads, houses and cities mean that there are now fewer places for hummingbirds to rest on their journey and to feed. So that's why it's so important in America that people put food out for the hummingbirds at the right time because all their natural food isn't there anymore. Poor hummingbirds. Granny's in her garden with a parcel in her lap. Inside's a tiny eggshell wrapped in cotton. Cotton wool, a letter and a cutting from a newspaper. As she reads how hummingbirds have nested for the first time in Central Park, there's a telltale sound around the flowers. <gasps> Who's back? It's an, it's an, an. A flash of jewel feathers in the light. There she is, so it's made its way back home. That's a lovely story. I do love hummingbirds, they're so interesting. If you haven't already, have a look at the two video clips that I've put the links on for you and have a, have a look at all the interesting facts about hummingbirds. All right, see you later.